push button switches are two position devices actuated with a button that is pressed and released. These are schematic diagram symbols for push button switches. Notice that there are two of them, normally open NO and normally closed NC. This is the symbol of a push button switch that is normally off or normally open, unless you press it. It must be pressed to close the contacts. Notice that the line is above the contact points and will be pressed down upon the contacts to close the break in the circuit. This is the symbol for a push button switch that is normally on or normally closed. When you press the push button, the contacts will open and any current flowing through the contacts will stop. Notice that the symbol for a normally closed push button has the line below the contact points and will be pushed down away from the contacts to open the circuit. You can think of normally open as normally off and normally open is abbreviated NO. You can also think of normally closed as normally on. Normally closed is abbreviated NC. Most push button switches have an internal spring mechanism returning the push button to its out or unpressed position for momentary operation. The common start stop switch found in many machines uses two push button switches one to turn the machine on and the other to turn it off. Some push button switches will latch alternately on or off with every push of the button. Other push button switches will stay in their in position or press position until the button is pulled back out. This type of push button switch usually has a mushroom shaped button for easy push and pull action. They are commonly used in all sorts of machines as emergency stop buttons. You must pull out the button before you can restart the machine. Push buttons are a very common type of switch. You use them every day on many different devices. Selector switches are actuated with a rotary knob or lever of some sort to select one or two or more positions. Like the toggle switch, selector switches can either rest in any of their positions or contain spring return mechanisms for momentary operation. This is the electrical schematic diagram symbol for this type of selector switch, often used in industrial machine control applications. This selector switch can control two separate circuits with two sets of contacts. There is another type of selector switch. This is the symbol for that type of selector switch. It has a common connector connection that is connected to one of several contacts. This picture shows the back of this type of selector switch. You can see the connection terminals for the wires. This type of selector switch is found on many multimeters used for electrical measurements. A specialized type of selector switch is the joystick switch. It is actuated by a lever free to move in more than one axis of motion. One or more of several switch contacts are actuated depending on which way the lever is pressed and sometimes by how far it is pushed. There is a circle and dot notation on the switch symbol that represents the direction of joystick lever motion required to actuate the contact. Joystick hand switches are commonly used for controlling such things as overhead cranes and robot arms. Some joystick switches are used for playing games such as this vintage Atari video game, but not all joysticks are switches. Many joysticks, like this one used on personal computers, uses variable resistors called potentiometers to give an analog voltage signal corresponding to the position of the joystick. Not all switches are operated by people. Some switches used in machinery and automation are operated by machines. In part 4 of this video we will look at some of these.